All right, today we got our official full NBA Infinite tier list, all the players included. Quick disclaimer, this video was recorded prior to the buff of Jason Tatum as well as the release of Victor Wembeyama. But quick spoilers, I can wholeheartedly say that these cards are both broken. They are going to be top of the top broken. With Victor is insane when it comes to block and Tatum is now better than Paul George in my opinion. Granted, you need him at R7, but let's continue on with this video. The first things first, we're gonna start from the lowest rank always to the highest rank, and um, they're gonna be just pictures here. Uh, I don't know who made this. I added the Curry ones, but shout out to whoever made the NBA Infinite Player tier list. I can't even see Dan Z. Shout out to Dan Z for making this one. But first and foremost, we're actually gonna put a lot of these players in fodder, starting with the, the lowest one. So Eric Gordon. Anthony Simon, Victor Oladipo, uh, you know Drummond I can low-key put there, Harris, Montre Harrell, and we'll even put Kyle Lowry. These are all fodder. If you have them, you should be using them mostly for uh, leveling up your XP or your skills. Essentially, you can potentially, if you want, Tim Hardaway. I'm going to put Tim Hardaway on the top of the fodder as well as Ricky Rubio. Apparently, these guys, I've seen some very good Tim Hardaway, so they're borderline E. But I'm going to put in the fodder just because they're so cheap. Drummond is probably going to be uh, also here because why use him if you can use any of them? But again, borderline. I'm just going to put it like this order. D Rose, uh, despite you guys might think he's fodder, unfortunately, he sells for 10K. So at that price, it's not fodder. He's at E, E rank. John Collin, also E rank. And then we're going to put a lot of these players in the E rank, a lot of the rares in E rank, and Mike Conley as well. I am low key going to probably move John Collins up to D. Just because he's still fairly decent. Freddie Van Fleet also. And then we're going to go ahead and put Johnny Ice. I'm actually going to talk about them in a little second. But I just want to move the players up. Because I want to get the rarest players out of the way. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Coughing. Because the rare players, most of the time people can afford these. So I'm not going to go too in-depth on them. But I'm just going to kind of put these players here around this area. And uh, these guys are probably going to be a little bit higher. But I'm just going to move them around. Just move them all the way up here for now. And then we're going to shift them up a little bit just because I wanted to get them out of the way so that I can actually focus on the top stuff as well. But those are just going to be all the rares. They're not actually D tier for now, but we'll take a look and we're going to move them up. I think I've got all the rares minus the, the, the legendaries, right? So uh, as of now, I if I had to put these players here, I'm moving these players like here. So I'm just shifting some of these players up. Just to showcase them a bit. Freddie V definitely moves up here a bit. Kelvin Johnson. This guy's here. Clint Patella. I probably would move up a little bit. But I'll still probably put an E. So I think I like it like that. I will be moving Brooke Lopez in an A tier. This like this. This is probably fair. Just high C. You know what? I think this is fair as well. And oh, we're missing one rare. Bogdanovich. You know what, let's, let's throw these guys up here as well. They're technically rares. Okay. So I am going, I might have to relook at this, but throwing these guys at eight here for myself, just because I think they're really strong. All right, so, so far for our rares, take a look. We can see Kyle Lowry, uh, Harrell, Tobias Harris, Victor Oladipo, Anthony Simon, Eric Gordon, Drummond, Drummond potentially. These three, Drummond, Rubio, and Hardaway, they are a fodder. So use them for your skills, but in my opinion, you can potentially use Tim Hardaway and Ricky Rubio, but again, why use them if you can spend three millions for any of these higher end players? D Rose, I put him in E. You might consider him fodder, but the fact he's selling for 10 million means that he's slightly better. 10 million, Jesus, 10K, slightly better. Conley as well, Kellen Johnson, Marcus Smart, RJ Barrett. Clint Capella is like borderline here, so I might just move him up to here. He can get the boards, he's pretty decent. He's slightly better than Flatty Van V. John Collar, Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon, you might, might argue he's better but the dunking is not as good in like other games like the higher ranks then you have andrew wiggins jonathan isaac these guys are you know very close to each other andrew wiggins can score the buckets uh jonathan isaac is very good defensively jalen green jordan Poole, spencer doing d'angelo russell very good offensively scoring wise i low-key i'm considering putting them in a tier but i feel like having curry lebron james and durant i think in my opinion it's going to go like this bogdanovich uh, lopez Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, LeBron James. Uh, so far, these are the rares that we have. That's what I'm putting them as for now. Now, we're just going to go ahead and scroll back through our epics. Now, uh, I was originally going to put Draymond Green on the 2B determined, but I think I'm going to be putting him into the B tiers 
just because we've played so much with him. I also have uh, Draymond's ability is actually really annoying. He's actually moving like crazy. He like moves people off the screen, which is super annoying. And then we also have Tyrese Halliburton, which we're gonna put in B because uh, in my opinion, LaMelo Ball, we're actually gonna move everybody in B for now so that I can shift them later. I know chat is gonna be a little annoying, but it's just because I wanna get everything in the size here, but we're, we'll shift them back down afterwards. But let's just do some of them first and then we'll move them afterwards. Uh, how many did I put up there? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. So we can add three more up there. Let's do three more up there and hope my face is not covering anything yet. It is, but it's fine. Okay. So let's just start by here. We'll go over the lowest overall. The, um, right now we have Draymond. I think Draymond is actually really solid. If you take a look at his ability, he basically pushes people away. So that becomes very annoying. Uh, it's super annoying. Like you try to get into position, he pushes people away. He does have pretty decent stats on defense. I don't think he can really shoot though, but he has got good passing. So that becomes pretty good when it comes to that situation. So I definitely would put him around that B tier, but very debatable because TBD, we haven't used them. Halliburton, I leave him in the B tier because he's a strictly worse LaMelo ball. They both are the same thing. They can pass, they can shoot. They have good height. LaMelo ball is slightly bigger, taller, uh, and the, f the faster passing, it makes him better. And also Halliburton has a slightly worse release time. So it is it is pretty annoying. Uh, Marketin, I am going to I'm going to keep him here for now. He's going to change just because of the fact that you don't really know whether or not he's consistent. But because he's inconsistent, I might put him in the C tier. But for now, we'll keep him there just for now. Brandon Ingram, I haven't played enough with him, so I'm going to put him in D determined. Porzingis as well. And Clay Thompson. However, I played against a Clay Thompson. He wasn't amazing. He wasn't bad. So nothing crazy there. Jalen Brown as well, to be determined. Really haven't used him. Uh, DeMar DeRozan, actually. We played against him. He's okay. We'll, we'll leave these in the to be determined because we haven't really used too much of them. But Paul George, definitely going to be in the broken tier. Definitely needs to be nerfed. That's going to be the first epic there. Drew Holiday is going to be S tier. Very close, right? Like super close to that broken tier. But not exactly there yet very close very close then donovan mitchell i'm probably gonna move him low-key c tier De'Aaron fox I'm, i actually want to use him say in b because i have actually seen him hit some nasty shots cr good crossover i might even put him over halliburton i'd rather use him than halliburton because he's got some good slashing and dunking low-key he might be the top of b tier so that's what if i had to put uh all right so let's just move the other players back up so that we can actually go through them. Yes, I know we're putting them in the C tiers, but they're not exactly where the C tier is. This is where it actually starts getting spicy because some of these players are actually incredibly good and they're gonna have, they're gonna be moved up to like God tier in quotation mark. And I, I feel like most of the legendaries will be in God tier, but as of now, as we're going through this list, I think we're taking a look at, uh, let's start from the right side. Jamal Murray right now to be determined. Haven't really seen any, haven't really played against any. Jaron Jackson, we played against one, 82 overall. So he wasn't really good, but again, it's all to be determined because our player, all these players are not available. And even if they were available at like 82 overall, they were not cooking at all. So that's why I put him to be determined. Uh, Julius Randle, he's gonna be the, the, I think the only epic in D tier. He is gonna be better than these players. I might move up to C tiers just because I feel like a max out epic is still gonna be better than anything max out. Again, this tier is all based on like maxed out players. Pascal Siakam, I put him at the A tier. He is better than these uh, De'Aaron Fox. Rudy Gobert, I think we put him on A tier as well. Shea is actually, in my opinion, S tier, and I'm assuming that you're really strong and know how to use him. His crossover move is ridiculously insane. If you know how to hit him and he's like one on one fight, he's S tier broken because most of the time you're gonna be in a one on one action. Especially the iso ball and crosses people up and it's step back. He's pretty nasty. He's borderline A. So I might actually move him to A plus because a higher skill gap player. So bonus, I'm going to keep him in the C tier. He's going to be probably top of C tier. Might drop him to B. Cat, broken tier. He's like the best center in the game when it comes to like versatility. He can shoot the three, get the dunks, get the blocks, get the rebounds. And he's fast. So definitely broken. Paul George might be honestly higher than Paul George. But it's more expensive, but very strong in that sense. John Morant, oh, it's tough. I want to put him in that A tier, but I don't think he's as good as, like, he's basically similar to De'Aaron Fox. I think he's slightly, they're similar, but I want to put him a, a below 
there just because of how much more he costs, meaning he's not as accessible. I know people might want to put him up there, but he, he can slash and attack the basket, but he can't shoot. And his passing is not the best. So that's really, really tough in that situation. Trey Young, we have another broken player. Um, I was playing against an 82 overall, and he was cooking me. His ability is ridiculous. Basically, he has like he has a crossover move that goes his three phases. After the third phase, he activates ice cold. And if you're in his cone, you're instantly broken ankle. And he's got the best three in the game. So that right there is absolutely broken. Then we got Zion. Zion, I'm gonna put him in the high B tiers. If you know how to use his hop step, he's actually incredible. But they didn't nerf it apparently. But if you can use it, he's unstoppable. I want to kind of borderline put him that A tier. It is very tough but very strong. Bam. I probably will put in that B tier. I think I like him over Gobert. It's just tough. They're two different players. Like Gobert gets way more blocks, but Bam just gets so many rebounds and the mid range is actually incredible in this game. I'm actually going to move these players back. We're going to start moving these players back just to fix it because we know we're just moving stuff into tier lists for now and we're just going to move it around. Uh, Jimmy Butler, he's an S tier. Uh, believe it or not he's got crazy defense he slashes the basket basically unstoppable when you go to dunks he also has this crazy animation right that goes like this and then underneath and then kind of like cancels the block animation it's actually insane and the fact that an 80 overall jimmy butler did that meaning that an 89 overall which i went against cooks it is incredible how strong he is a uh, borderline a s plus but still very good and then Kyrie s tier uh, I'm doing a video about these players like honestly, I think yeah, no, this is good like town's best just like Kyrie and Trey you're probably not gonna get let's be honest, but a Kyrie main that knows how to crossover is like a strictly better Shea Right a strictly better Shea like Shea you have to go one-on-one -on -one to cross him him. No his ability just crosses people So able to actually move it up. So that's actually crazy. So right now we're just gonna move some stuff away I think this is good. I think this is good so far, I think we're moving these guys up. Getting that bam here. Because so far, it's like that. I like that. Zion, I like that a lot as well. John Moran, I might put in the back of that, but I'm not sure. These are like three players that dunks, and that's are really fast. So they're very similar when it comes to that. But Zion's really, really strong. Uh, we're just doing the epics right now. We're going to move to legendaries very soon. But yeah, as of now, I have a Draymond Green here. I'm actually gonna put him up to the A tier because believe it or not, that bump animation is probably one of the most broken things in the game. And Laurie Marketing is actually gonna move up as well as Tyrese Halpern. We're gonna keep him there. I think his shooting is really good. I think it's just the inconsistency is bad, but he's super tall and he can hit those threes in a layup. So I like that like this. We have Sabonis at C. I'm gonna move him back to the back end of B. I think he's still fairly decent. I just think he's too slow. I am going to put him better than these players because he could still pass. Overall, I still think you want to have epics over these these players. Donovan Mitchell, I think it's better than Andrew Wiggins and Isaac. I have Randall here, but I feel like this is respect. We, you definitely rather have Julius Randall than Andrew Wiggins and Donovan Isaac. I don't think that there's really any debating that. So that's a pretty good one, I think. I like moving that. Aaron Gordon here, here. And then, yeah, I mean, Brandon Ingram, Porzingis, Thompson, Jalen Brown, and DeRozan, we really haven't used. So now we get to the legendaries. This is where it becomes very spicy i'm gonna move them all to c for now because i don't have i don't want to keep scrolling down and uh, i feel like some of them are givens and i want to assume that you get them maxed out but realistically speaking we'll just assume that they're r5s because r5 is probably one of the most realistic that you can get now let's go ahead and take a look at these players um, and base them on how i've seen them played um, i'm just gonna go and put what i think is broken so far uh, from what i can tell lebron james definitely super broken like i've played against an 89 lebron he slashes the basket passes the ball shoots the threes gets the blocks he does literally everything in the game i think he, he hits threes which is crazy but yeah absolutely broken definitely if you can afford him definitely one of the players you want to get by far one of the most broken card uh we got james harden that came out as well i think he's pretty dang broken as well but again, I think you need to get him 85 overall. But again, I'm assuming you have a higher ranked. Um, but for now, James Harden, whenever you play against them, even an 82 overall can cook you, hit the double step back. One of the fastest step back in the game is ridiculous. We also have Anthony Davis. I played against an Anthony Davis that was a 82 overall, and he was blocking everything like nobody's business, getting every single board. And keep in mind, 82, I meant 82, 83 overall. 
So if you have an 87 overall, he just gets a block. He's a literally a strictly better Rudy Gobert or Brook Lopez. So being that, he's the best power forward in the game if you can afford him. Then we're also going to move... Who is God tier here? Curry. I think I'm going to move Curry over... Low-key though, Curry, I'm debating put on TBD, but I played against 82 Curry and his moves are ridiculous and his threes are actually insane. So if you have him up to like R5, he is not going to miss any threes and he's going to break your ankles. So definitely a god tier, even though we can't confirm. Yanis, hmm, I'm debating it. I think like a high rank Yanis is S tier, but at lower rank, he's terrible. Like people cannot guard him, but I'm assuming he's high rank. We're going to put him up there because at higher rank, he gets rebounds, he gets blocks. His Euro Dunk is actually unstoppable because he has so much block resistance. But he can also alley-oop it, so I'm definitely going to put it there, assuming his higher rank. Jokic, I'm going to put him S tier because he is very good. However, he's really dependent on your teammates. His screens is very nice. He's like borderline broken, but I don't think he's broken yet. Uh, higher tiers, he can shoot, he can set the screens, he can pass, which is nice. It's like a better Sabonis, and Sabonis is like lower rank, so I can't see myself putting him higher. So... I, that's why I'm going to put him in S tier. A uh, Kawhi Leonard, I'm putting him in DBD because people tell me he's really broken, but every Kawhi I've played against sucked. So I can't really confirm it. I kind of want to put him in that B tier, but the Kawhi's I played against, like he's got good abilities. Like he can steal and block and he can, he has terrible threes though, apparently. And Claw is crazy. Um, it feels like a strictly worse Paul George. So I'm going to put TBD for now. I feel like he'd be B tier. But that's just what I think now. KD is actually incredibly broken. Matter of fact, if you go to, I think it was uh, Oceani, he's got crazy. Like, his sidestep special ability shot is unguardable. He's got crazy three, crazy amazing range. He's going to block. He's got crazy stats. Very, very strong in that sense. I'm going to put uh, Joel Embiid in that. I'm going to put... I'm, I'm going to put him S tier. Because a dominant Embiid will carry a game, getting all the rebounds, getting all the, the cheese. If you can cheese it, he becomes insane. Damian Lillard, I'm going to put him A tier. I think the fact of the matter is that his ability is really good, but you need a screen for it to happen. He doesn't do good catch and shoot. Dame time is actually really annoying. But again, like I haven't really seen a lot of good dames, and most of the time, good dames are more hard to find than bad dames. You know, he doesn't really have crazy, crazy like playmaking, right? He can shoot, he can pass, but on defense, he's gonna be a liability. So I put him at the A tier. Jason Tatum, I'm gonna put him S tier borderline he's like a worse paul george but he shoots better his defense is not as good as paul george tatum's ability is actually really strong in our meta because if jason tatum goes against paul george he actually has a, a benefit so and that you will see that a lot at time you have like a jason tatum lineup and then have a power for in the center and a jason tatum will go against a, the paul george right so that right there is actually pretty good to have so i might actually put him um, higher than jimmy butler but I think Drew Holiday is better just because of how versatile he is. I actually probably put Drew over MB just because of stealing. He's just actually incredible. Booker, unfortunately, I might even put him B tier. But I'm going to put him at the bottom. Uh, in front of... I'm actually going to put it in front of you. It's just tough. For the price you're paying, you much rather get... Hard to say. Tatum. You much rather get Paul George. Right? He's got... Like, decent, like, rhythm. I think it was rhythm dribbling or something like that. Not really a great ability. His shooting is all average and everything. And he's kind of a liability. He's, so, from what I could tell, he's not amazing. Again, this could be into TBD department. Um, but all the bookers I played against were pretty bad. So, again, either that skill issue or is that the card. I haven't personally used it, but based on that, I'm pretty confident putting that A tier. And then Luca. I played against 80 overalls, and his step back's pretty fast. So I think he would be in the A tier. I mean, S tier. But for now, I'm going to put him in TBD because I only played against two Lucas. And at 80 overall, they really didn't do much. But again, 80 overall, lockdown against Paul George is kind of tough. But from what I can tell, his step back was pretty solid, if I had to say. So let's actually take a look at this tier list. We have everything. I don't think we forgot anything. And Wembeyama, if I had to guess, would be a broken. So, as of now, we're taking a look at the tier. In our broken tier list, we have LeBron James, Prime LeBron, Prime Curry, Prime Harden, and Prime Anthony Davis. I think those are fairly fair. Giannis, I'm going to put him up here based on the fact that, you know, uh, I'm going to move KD here. Based on the fact that he's going to be a higher overall. And a higher overall, Giannis gets boards, gets dunks, gets blocks. But he's borderline. And I think I'd much rather have 
Paul George. I'm gonna put it at the end. Because I'm not trying to have Karanty Town, Paul George, Trey Young, Kyrie over Giannis. Your Euro Dunk is unguardable, but you know, it's easily you can debate it because you know him and Jokic. And then S we have Jokic, Drew Holiday, Joel Embiid, Tatum, Butler. I personally think Tatum over Joel Embiid, but these guys are interchangeable. Um, the reason is that Joel Embiid is actually really strong in higher tiers if you know how to cheese that pump fake into the, the dunk. So he's really strong. He can get blocks. He's pretty good at rebounding. He's actually pretty fast as well. But then again, like for the prices, this is just like an overall if you had them like higher um, ranked. Then you have Jimmy Butler, then Damian Lillard, A tier. Uh, yeah, I just feel like besides scoring, his versatility is not as great. Like, why would you use Damian Lillard if you can use like Trey Young? Right? I know Trey Young is more rare, but you can get him higher. Like his crossover is really nice. He has crazy threes. Shea Gilgris, Shea. Gilgris Alexander. Uh, I think I still like LaMelo over Shea. And I think I like LaMelo over Dame. That's it personal. I would use LaMelo over Dame just because I like passing a lot. And I think his passing ability is actually one of the best abilities in the game. Increasing the shot percentage by 25% about is actually insane. So that's actually really cool. We moved to Lillard here, Shea. We have Siakam, Devin Booker, Bogdanovich. I love Bogdanovich, but I think I'm putting Bam over Bogdanovich. I'm putting all these players above Bogdanovich. And I low key, no, no we're gonna Bogdanovich over Brook Lopez. Because Brook Lopez is good, but he's slow, so he becomes a very li big liability, especially if you're going against Cat. Then you have KD, LeBron James, Steph Curry. I think I like Curry better than Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant can only hit that mid range, which is good. He doesn't really get blocks, he can, there's like a 40% chance. Uh, so he kind of kept boards because he's taller, but. Curry is actually really nice with the moves. He can actually hit step backs. The three is wide open, which I think is more valuable than KD. LeBron James at higher rank is not that great. Lower rank, he's super cheese. He just gets all the dunks, but that's all he does. Draymond Green, so good. So good. I might actually put him up here because he just pushes people around. Could be also TBD. The small sample size of 89 overall Draymond Green I saw was actually, you know what? He's not really broken. He's more annoying than broken, but putting pushing people away from the middle is actually really cheap i'm actually gonna drop him to b i think yeah we're dropping to b because uh, although it's really annoying to get pushed it doesn't really bring much beside blocking the center you can't really i mean if you're guarding like siakam it probably won't do much but zion uh De'Aaron fox john morant i can see De'Aaron fox going up just because of how fast he is and how he can actually pass he can shoot but these guys can potentially move up you know what i'm saying so they would just move up i could easily see them move up Tyrese Halliburton is a worse uh, Lamelo. The Sabonis is a worse Jokic. D'Angelo De De Russell, Dwinwiddie, Jason Poole, Green, very strong. Donovan Mitchell, Julius Randle. Uh, these two, man, they're the worst epics in the game. It's unfortunate, but you know they need to buff them so that they can get either a price raise or people start using them. They literally, Julius Randle's won't sell in the auction house. Uh, Andrew Wiggins, Jonathan Isaac, close there in C tier. And then D tier, we have the Aaron Gordon, John Collins, Capella, Freddie V. Freddie V I haven't really used. People say he's good. I've seen them have some really nice moves. Just not able to hit threes. I don't, sorry. Not able to really consistently hit threes. So we have that there. Then RJ Ray, Marcus Mark, Kellen Johnson actually is going to be top of this list here. I'm actually going to move Freddie V in the bottom here. Just I think these three are way better than this. And then TBD players I haven't really seen in the game. And if I have seen it, it's not enough. Like Battering Ingram is like a KD. He actually hit that crazy mid range. Has a nice sway. Uh, Porzingis can get blocks. And he stretched threes. But they're very slow. Uh, Clay Thompson played against him. He hits the threes. He's not really a great defender in the game right now, but he's decent at shooting. Uh, Jalen Brown has not seen any of them, so I don't actually know what he does. Uh, DeRozan has a pretty good midi. You know what I'm saying? Um, Jamal Murray have not seen any. Jaron Jackson, his kit looks amazing. He looks like he would be an S tier, A tier kit. And then Kawhi also, like I've seen an 86 Kawhi, he sucked. The Luka Doncic 80 overall had a quick step back, but beside that, nothing crazy happened, no crazy passes. So to be determined though. And then Fodder, Tim Hardaway, uh, Rubio, Drummond, those you can use, but I'd much rather use them for skills. Eric Gordon, Anthony Simons, Victor Lodipo, Tobias Harris, Matra Harrell, and Kyle Lowry are gonna be your fodder. And that right there is going to be my tier list. I don't know if you guys agree with me or not. Anyway, guys, that's my tier list. You guys let me know what you guys think about it. If you guys agree with the tier list, you let me know down below. If not, you let me know who you think should have made higher, who's been lower. Honestly, this is a debatable tier list. You know, it's all based on personal preferences. I know some people might want to put Kyrie lower. You know, some of you might want to put Bam 
above again it's all personal choices you right don't take any of this serious it's a fun tier list 